Yeah, 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 yeah. We back at it. We back at it. We back at it with another action figure review. And this time we keeping it has bro, baby. And we going with the Star Wars Black series and the re-release of Dangar in the archive wave. You see him, baby. We got the box backwards because don't fit on the on the on the steps of the corner, so had to turn that thing around. But um <clears throat> yeah, let's check a let's check a look at the box art here. So it comes. Archive way. Dan Gar. Here's the back. Pause that. I'm gonna take a look at that. And it's and look at this. The last time this guy was out was 2018. See that? Right there. And from the looks of it, the color on that figure, his suit looks a little lighter. But basically, I guess it's the same reissue. I like the artwork. Looks good. But I was trying to get him, and he was worth... Buku cash. So I was just like, I was trying to get that little, uh, the first wave of the um, bounty hunters from Star Wars, you know, the little, I think what was a six man crew or whatever. I still ain't get them because I was like, ah, I start jumping into other stuff and everything else. But enough with the rattling on. Let's get into his accessories here. If you know, you know. If not, hey, man, you're new like me because this is my first time reviewing them and even owning them. Here goes his backpack. Nice details. And it has, like, some type of plastic, but the plastic feels a little different. It feels like uh, some, type of, some type of rubber or something. See that? Yeah, y'all see that. It's just detailed. Nice, man. I like it. Got the little uh, Star Wars leg peg. Like the little puzzle piece for the back. Comes with this. Now, you know I don't know the name of this bad boy, but I will. Looks like some long sniper joint. Then he has his Star Wars pistol. Look like Lando on the joint. Got the little blaster with the scope. Yeah, man. Now let's take a look at your boy. Infamous bounty hunter. Huh? Woo! That detail is crazy. See, he's armored up. Armored up all over. Got the, the the suit underneath, cause he's not like a no type of alien or nothing. I don't think. I think he's human, right? I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that and run with it and be like, "Yo, the cap said." Nah, cap ain't say. The cap said he, he he believes. He may believe that he's human, yeah, but he looks human. He doesn't look like he's you know for some. I don't know what planet he's from and all that i'm not i didn't get into the comics and all that but um good stretch up about that much the look up wow that much look down like a swivel does he have a bus well he has a little not a bicep joint but it has a rotation at the at the elbow i would guess or right before it no double elbow but it's generous. Wrist. Wrist rotation. Oh. Back and forth. So that's good. What about this one? Up and down. Back and forth. Alright. Any ab crunch? Not really. You could go back that much. You can come forward. That's about it. Side to side. He does have a thigh cut underneath all that double knee though double knee which is cool he has ankle 
pivot up and down and then rotation and then rotation on this ankle as well excuse me yeah sorry um, you could put his pistol on the side and this little holster feels like it's like leather or something but it's not but it feels nice maybe it is man i'm not sure what it is but it feels you can move it it's flexible it's nice it's like a so is this belt i don't think you can take it off but it's a separate piece so that's cool put his backpack on see what i mean by the puzzle piece i think that's cool i mean it works fits in there give him this Gun. Gun here. Tie it out. Get that thing in there. Boom. Oh, he's still not holding it. I don't know why. Okay. And there he goes. Dango. Your boy. Look like he got wallabies on claws. Huh. You know, the clock's on. Yeah, man. I think he's a good figure if you're trying to get the bounty hunters together. Let's do some size comparisons. Put him up here with some of his boys. Bounty hunters. You know who's coming first. You know, when Boba Fett was Boba Fett, huh? I mean, he's still Boba Fett. He just went through a lot of crap. But this is one of his Boba Fett. Archive wave as well. So that's one of his brothers. You know what I mean? Archive wave. Uh-oh, Big Bosk. Archive way. So. And I like Bosk. He's a good figure. You can see. That's one thing about Star Wars. They have all different sizes. It doesn't even matter. And if anybody has IG-88, you know this guy doesn't stand for nothing. I'm on give it a shot but it's kind of hot and uh if he doesn't do it he's out of here because i don't have the patience to try to stand them up with his one leg too short and uh oh it's the cap yeah no i'm saying let's get him out of there Get Boba out of there real quick. Put Moff Gav. He's kind of short. Moff Gav. There you go. Ha ha ha. All right. But yeah, man. That's my. That's my review. On your man. Dangar. And uh, I think he's a good release, man, for people who's waiting for him. That's it, man. I mean, at least you could get him. It's a different deco. It's just darker from what I know. I don't know. You could check other people's reviews because I never had the first one. If someone else has it up and they, you know, did a comparison or something. But for me, it looks like a solid figure. I like him a lot. And I was, I had him for a minute. I was contemplating if I should open him. But I was like, you know what? I got Bob and all of them open. Let me just put them all together and just have my whole bounty hunter squad. But yeah, man. I ain't gonna hold you guys. I know it's hot out there, man. Yo, man. Once again, man, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the tribe. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Love, peace, and hair grease. It's your boy. We out.